Peace by Peter, and I'm pleased to say that later the station settled down and all was well. It was fairly peaceful. In late 1972, Radio Caroline returned from its own ship, the Mi Amigo, off the Dutch coast. And in 1974, Radio Atlantis completed the quartet. Atlantis may have been a small, low-budget station broadcasting in Dutch by day and English at night, but they did offer some very entertaining music programmes, loosely based on the Top 40 format. After the news with uh, up a bit, some of these, one Jarrow yeah. Son and one Alan Price at number three this week. But right now, Atlanta's 3-1-2 time is 11.30. Yeah. On the half hour, ready I'm to not the on the air now. Good evening, this is They're John not Hunt. hearing me saying this at home. This is Barbara Castle, Social <laughs> this Services Secretary. This is exclusive. Secretary. This is copyright UV David Legg. Thank you. <laughs> Over half of this is to be spent on rebuilding the Suez Canal area. A fine oh, sunny day is forecast for tomorrow in most areas. Winds will be light to moderate oh, and from the west. This has been Radio Atlantis News. The next bulletin will be at 12.30 this evening. <laughs> by the Loving Awareness Band, who made only the one album together, but later went on to become Ian Jury's backing band, The Blockheads. So they went on to make their mark in pop history, but not as the new Beatles. Meanwhile, the ageing radio ship, the Mi Amigo, battled on against the elements, frequently taking in water when the seas got rough. She was built in 1921, so it was no surprise when on the 20th of March 1980, the ship began taking on water, and she was abandoned before sinking to the sea bed. I've done all the fruits, I'm going home. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to use them. I'm just looking for somewhere to insert my car. I'll come back later. This is a, a car chair that I, I had when I was at but Southern Sound. I took it off an advert. I've got it's Arthur Mullard saying cobblers. I don't know what's so good about that, really. I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be Mm. This is a version without the words. Tonight there's a risk of patchy drizzle, but most parts will stay dry. Minimum temperatures are sticky, 14 Celsius, 57 Fahrenheit in moderate winds. Tomorrow dry with sunny spells and variable cloud. Feeling humid in light to moderate south to southeast winds. And there'll be coastal sea breezes. And I'm afraid it's bad news if you suffer from the old hay fever, because the grass pollen forecast for tomorrow is high. Now, welcome back to Giants 2, and it's Radio Giants tonight, and uh, where were we? Come on. Come on, just over that. It's working out the sequence here. I think that's still cute from about ten minutes ago. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Radio Caroline on 319 meters, 963 kilohertz. I'm Tom, and for the next hour, I'd like to... Less than one year later, the Ross Revenge was joined off the British coast by another radio ship, the MV Communicator, which became known as Laser 558. It employed a team of fast-talking American disc jockeys, and their philosophy was simple, to play all the hits all the time, 
with a promise of 54 minutes of music per hour. British listeners had never heard anything like it. Laser 558 soon became the station to listen to for pop music. Laser 558. All oh, hit radio, Laser 558. Seven minutes after the hour. David Lee Stone here, beautiful day in the North Sea. Our that was all right. Today, a broadcast rolled on the same recorder as Mama. Yeah, you know, this might be a collector's item a couple years from now. You never know about these things. Yeah, best, best station so far. Laser 5, 5, 8, good morning. Oh, 500 hours in the United Kingdom, 0600 hours in Central Europe. I didn't have a CD with all the laser blasts. What it's all about. By the way, what time is it? Laser 5, 5, 8, 7 minutes after the hour. Dave Lee Stone here, beautiful day in the North Sea. Our first call today, a broadcast rolled on the same recorder as Mama. All-Hit Radio. Laser. Five, five, eight. One minute after the hour on the laser, and coming up in 60 seconds, Charlie Wolf. Hello there, my friend. It's a pleasure to have you on. Yes, and it's great just to be here. I can't believe it. I'm sitting he here went on, to on the two, ocean five, two, and just playing lots of music. That and way. I just can't think of anything. Better. I don't know what he's doing now. I think he's... <laughs> I might do it again. It's good, isn't it? Good old Arthur. Oh, yeah. He's there again, he's there again, but he can't keep going cobblers, can he? Well, once more. What, what about uh, John Harper? Is he here tonight? Thanks, oh, no, no, I've left him at home. I've got it on real one. I might have him, yes. Oh. No, I've got, I've got, I have got some bits for later on. Oh. I'll show you later. Oh. We better not have any more cobblers. I'll save the cobblers for later. Ten seconds ago. Eat it. Oh, he's back-timed the old tart. Old tart. What do you think? They're dealing with professionals here, you know. Because you're an amateur. <laughs> I mean, no one's an amateur like you. They're going to miss the news now. The 8 o'clock news, this is Paul Kirby. President Clinton right. says the missile attack on Iraq's intelligence Ooh. headquarters has been a success, despite civilian casualties. Did you get a lot of calls on you last night, Lloyd? Well then, did you get a lot of calls on you last night? Too late, Dave. You are, so, yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks yeah, for your yeah. Alright, thanks for your help. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, bye-bye. Oh, I wish I'd do that, contact you um, next time. Um, can you give me a ring? Alright, um, you've got a mobile now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right, um, uh, but certainly, it must have been the biscuit, the biscuit run for me. <laughs> what? Definitely the biscuit. Where I got stitched up? Definitely, that was just, uh, yeah. it was the bee's knees, wasn't it, really? Well, it was another funny one on the last day for me on Friday, is that we had Duncan, dear Duncan was here, and uh, he was doing the What's On Guide on the program, and he was giving me these funny little looks. He's, he's another one of my old leg over there, he likes to get all deadpan. <laughs> when I go really straight with this, he's trying to now, I start to get the giggles. And I actually fell off my chair and I was thumping the floor and my legs were waggling in the air. <laughs> and poor Duncan, how he carried on, I really don't know. But uh, there we go, that was a funny moment. We had another high moment actually yesterday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, Simon Jenkins actually had a message thrust upon his hand about a budgie festival uh, being opened by John Cleese at 10 in the morning, famous of the parrot sketch, and also tips on how your budgie can succeed. Simon was here earlier, he was very disappointed, he thought you might have some spare ribs on the menu tonight. All right. Who was that? Simon. Oh, Simon. Oh, I yes. see. <laughs> well, we got 60 <laughs> seconds to talk. Yeah, thanks so much. Right. Uh, but, I think uh, the best moment was tonight when I let your chair down when you were reading the weather. Uh, the, just after reading the weather. I think Dick Scratcher <laughs> reading the IRN News at 11 was, uh, was pretty good. Was really good. Oh. Well, all I can say really is thank you very much everybody who's worked on the station. Thanks to B&W. They've been wonderful. Thanks to Ada Council. <laughs> what? Tesco's. Thanks to Tesco's for uh, all the food for Wednesday. We've eaten it. There's a few crisp packets empty that you can have back if you want to recycle. Um, and really, that is just about it. Thanks well, to Romans. One last thing, it has been said before, but it's got to be said again. Thanks very much to David Cunningham, who has organised it all from the start and has done such a brilliant job all the way through. Yeah. Big Erection with 1027 WEBN. 1027 WEBN. Your favorite station for.